Hello photography fans and welcome back to another LensVid review. Today we're taking a second look at this Weeble 2 gimbal by Zhiyun Tech and some of the really cool features that it comes with, like this video controller. Today we're doing an in-depth review of Zhiyun's Weeble 2 video transmission system. We already reviewed the Weeble 2 in July 2021, so you can refer to that video if you're interested in the gimbal functions. Now that we've had more time to play with the transmitter and the video controller unit, we are ready to tell you all about this technology that makes it possible to control the gimbal and compatible cameras remotely. The transmitter is a lightweight unit that measures 9 cm by 6 cm by 2.5 cm. It comes in a plastic enclosure with a proprietary metal mounting plate. On the left side, the unit comes with a mini HDMI port and a USB-C camera control port. The right side USB-C port charges the 3100 mAh internal battery. On the front of the unit, there are two antennas. In the kit that comes with the transmitter, Zhiyun ships a mounting rail that you fix to the bottom of the gimbal's tilt plate to neatly tuck the transmitter away underneath the rig. Optionally, Zhiyun includes a cold shoe adapter that you can attach to the mountain rail and use it on the camera or on the cage. The transmitter creates a Wi-Fi network that you can connect different devices to in order to get the live feed from the camera, control gimbal movement and camera functions through the ZY Play app. Additionally, the transmitter allows you to monitor the audio feed, but this option is only available with the Master Eye Visual Controller unit. The transmitter can be connected to a maximum of three devices, including mobile phones, tablets, and the visual controller. Zhiyun advises to make sure that the distance between the connected devices is more than 0.5 meters. We tested this function connecting the transmitter to Weeble's onboard monitor, the visual controller, and a tablet at the same time. We also tried different Android phones, but for some reason they weren't able to see the transmitter's Wi-Fi network. Once you install the mounting rail, slide the transmitter unit into position with the antennas facing forward. Connect the included HDMI cable and camera control cable to the camera. The other port has a dedicated cable included in the kit with a yellow label to charge the transmitter from the gimbal battery. Connect this cable to the bottom port on the front of the gimbal. To power on the transmitter, long press the power button on the front until the green light comes on. The transmitter also works independently from the gimbal, which means that it can give you wireless video feed and limited camera control functions when using the camera off the gimbal. In this case, you can mount the unit on the camera using the provided cold shoe mount. In order to receive the live feed on a device other than the Weeble 2 onboard monitor or the visual controller, you need to connect to the transmitter through the app. In the app, scroll across to the transmitter page. Tap the connect button. The app will instruct you to change your Wi-Fi network to connect to the transmitter. Once you're in, you will see on-screen control. Here you can control the gimbal movement by using the on-screen joystick. Tap in the recenter button is a bit glitchy for some reason. Surely it's just a firmware bug that will get fixed soon. There's a separate control slider for the roll axis on the right side of the screen. In the menu, there are gimbal settings and a few extra features like control options, choosing between joystick mode and mimic mode. There's also an attitude mode, but we couldn't really see a lot of use for it. The app offers a number of video assist tools under the image menu item. Here you can toggle on and off zebras, focus peaking, false color, markers and LUTs. There's also a histogram with different views in the upper right, but we feel it's a little too small. Another advanced feature in the menu is the follow focus control. It's a nice touch, but it's really hard to use because it's really small. Since it's not tactile, you always have to watch the controller and it distracts from actually pulling focus. Not really useful in our opinion. The most useful feature in the app is controlling the camera to start and stop video and take photos. The app also allows to record the screen. When it comes to receiving video feed from the transmitter, Weeble 2 connects automatically and you can see the live view by swiping down from the main menu on the onboard screen. The screen doesn't give you many options other than previewing the feed and setting the smart follow speed. One thing definitely missing from the live view is a tele light. When the camera is recording, there is no indication of it on the screen. Hopefully Zhiyun can include this feature soon. The smart follow mode is a great addition to this gimbal. It allows the user to work without an operator or it can simplify recording from difficult angles. The smart follow feature works in regular mode or selfie mode. 
To set the gimbal up to follow you, hit the trigger button once and you will see a frame on the screen around your face. The gimbal immediately reacts as you move away, tilting and panning to follow you. There's another option to initiate the smart follow mode, but we haven't been able to get it to work. Zhiyun included gesture control to instruct the gimbal from a distance to follow you, automatically starting the recording. To stop recording and exit smart follow mode, you would use the same gesture again. This could be a great feature and hopefully Zhiyun will fix this in an upcoming firmware update. You can also set up smart follow mode from the app. There is a dedicated button for it in the left bottom corner of the screen. When you tap the button, the screen displays a frame that you drag around the object to follow. To exit smart follow mode from the app, tap the button again. We tested this mode extensively and it consistently works really well as long as the indicated follow area stays in the frame. In our tests, the smart follow would continue working even if there were obstacles in the follow area. At times though, it did lock onto an obstacle if it was bigger than the follow frame. We feel that this feature can be very useful since it gives you freedom of movement the full 360 degrees around the gimbal. When combined with the app where you can preview the frame and start and stop video, this mode is even more useful. Zhiyun's VC100 Master Eye Visual Controller is an impressive device. It's well made and feels hefty in the hand. It weighs 450 grams and features a bright 5.5 inch screen, 2200 mAh battery and multiple power options. The controller is a pretty complete device with a lot of buttons and controls. It's meant for two-handed use or you can mount it on a tripod using the quarter inch mounting hole on the bottom of the unit. There's a focus wheel on the left side of the device. The right side features a hefty grip and a number of controls, including a joystick to control the gimbal movements, video and photo buttons, a scroll wheel for menu controls, a screen record button, and a mimic mode button. Because of its position on the grip, the mimic button gets in the way and we've unintentionally hit it a few times, causing the gimbal to jerk into position. One option to avoid doing that would be a feature that locks the physical controls and only uses the on-screen controls. Actually, clicking the power button on the top of the unit is supposed to do this, but strangely it disables all the controls, including the on-screen buttons, while the mimic mode button remains active. Looks like a firmware issue and hopefully Zhiyun can address this soon. The power button also features an LED color ring that advises when the battery is low and shows charging status when plugged in. Next to the power button is a zoom rocker to control the electronic zoom on compatible cameras. The bottom of the front panel of the controller features camera control buttons. These only work with compatible cameras so we weren't able to test these. On the back of the device, there is a camera parameter set wheel and an L-type battery mount with a lock mechanism. This unit comes with a protective plate that covers the battery mount terminals when not in use. A nice touch. You know what the best thing about this video controller is? It can help you find the subscribe button. There it is. So hit subscribe and hit the bell notification too. To start using the visual controller, you need to pair it with a transmitter unit. Power on the image transmitter first and then power on the visual controller. It takes about 15 seconds for the controller to power up. Look for the Wi-Fi icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Select the Zhiyun Wi-Fi name and enter the default password. There will be a message on the screen when it's successfully paired. To see the live video feed, tap the live button on the top of the screen. After the initial pairing, the unit will save the transmitter's Wi-Fi information and will automatically connect in future use unless a new firmware update changes the Wi-Fi password, in which case perform the pairing procedure again. When connected, the controller displays a number of on-screen controls and status icons. Here you can see the Wi-Fi status, camera mode, gimbal control mode and battery levels. There is also a handy record timer that serves as a telelight you can toggle live view on and off. The left side of the screen features the record and photo buttons, micro SD card indicator, and screen recordings interface button. In order to use this feature, insert a micro SD card. These lower resolution videos can be used as proxies in post-production. You can also control screen brightness and audio levels by swiping up and down on the left and right sides of the screen. In the top right corner of the screen, there is a menu. We feel that this is something for Zhiyun to work on because it's very limited. 
Unlike the app menu, which allows you to customize the gimbal movements and use assist tools, this menu doesn't have many options. In testing the visual controller, we found it to be relatively quick and easy to connect, but not without glitches. Once we got it going, it worked fine, but at first it had trouble connecting to the transmitter. Although it did perform more reliably than the app, which would lose video feed at times and required reconnecting. The visual controller is certainly very useful, as it allows a director, assistant or focus puller to remotely control gimbal movements and preview the frame. The limited camera compatibility is a downside, but hopefully it can be fixed through firmware updates. When Zhiyun figures out a way for all the camera controls and the gimbal functions to work seamlessly from the visual controller, it will be an unbeatable device. For now, you can replicate most of the controller's functions from the app. We tested the controller's connection by moving behind obstacles to see the latency and connection strength. We were pleasantly surprised when the video feed wasn't lost even through a couple of walls and metal doors. The combination of these two devices has a lot of potential. Remotely monitoring and controlling video has a lot of applications during any size production. The video controller is missing some important features, but potentially Zhiyun can add them in future iterations. We're really looking forward for this device to be able to fully control the camera settings, focus, and the gimbal movements, as well as to offer video assist tools. In conclusion, we were pleased to see that Zhiyun's technology works so well. There were some problems, but once we updated the firmware and the app, we found it to be very responsive and mostly seamless in operation. There are some camera control limitations and some issues with the button placement on the visual controller, but there should be easy solutions for these in the near future. Also, the rig gets a bit messy with all the cables to get everything synchronized. But in all, this ecosystem is really useful and shows a lot of promise. As for pricing, the full kit, including the gimbal, follow focus, transmitter, and visual controller, ships in a nice carrying bag for $1,100. And that is it for our review of all the cool tech that the Zhiyun Weibo 2 gimbal comes with. Check out our full review on our website at lensvet.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.